Instinct. Instinct drives basic human behavior. From early humans to now, it's our natural inborn impulses for survival, like seeking food and shelter. These are automatic, non-learned behaviors crucial for survival, seen in hunter-gatherer societies and still influencing us today. Conditioning. Conditioning shapes behavior through learned responses. In the early 20th century, Pavlov's experiments with dogs demonstrated how environmental stimuli can trigger conditioned reactions, a fundamental concept in behavioral psychology affecting how humans learn from their surroundings. Behaviorism. Behaviorism, popular in the early 20th century, argues that all behaviors are learned through interaction with the environment. John B. Watson and B.F. Skinner believed behavior could be studied scientifically without internal states, emphasizing observable actions over mental processes. Psychoanalysis. Psychoanalysis, developed by Freud in the 1920s, delves into the unconscious mind. It suggests behavior is influenced by unconscious desires and childhood experiences. This theory highlights the depth of human psychology beyond conscious thought, impacting modern therapy and understanding of mental processes. Humanism. Humanism, emerging in the mid-20th century, focuses on individual potential and personal growth. It argues for inherent goodness and self-actualization. Pioneered by Carl Rogers and Abraham Maslow, this approach counters deterministic views emphasizing personal choice and psychological health. Cognitive revolution. The cognitive revolution in the 1960s shifted focus to internal mental processes like thinking, memory, and problem solving. It challenges behaviorism, positing that mental processes influence behavior, leading to advances in understanding learning, memory, and decision-making. Evolutionary psychology. Evolutionary psychology, gaining traction in the 1970s, looks at how evolutionary principles explain human behavior. It suggests our actions, emotions, and even social norms are influenced by evolutionary past, aiming to understand psychological traits as adaptations for survival and reproduction. Social learning. Social learning theory, prominent in the 1980s, posits that people learn from observing others. Albert Bandura's work showed that behavior is learned both through direct experience and by observing others, highlighting the role of social context in shaping behavior. Emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence, emerging in the 1990s, recognizes the ability to understand and manage emotions as key to human behavior. Daniel Goleman's work illustrates how emotional skills affect social relationships and personal success beyond traditional cognitive intelligence. Positive psychology. Positive psychology, founded in the early 2000s by Martin Seligman, focuses on well-being and happiness. It explores what makes life worth living, shifting attention from mental illness to positive aspects of mental health, influencing modern therapeutic practices. Neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity, understood better in the 2010s, reveals the brain's ability to reorganize itself. This understanding shows how experiences reshape our neural networks, affecting behavior, learning, and recovery from brain injuries, emphasizing the adaptability of the human brain. Digital influence. Digital influence becomes significant in the 2020s, examining how digital platforms and social media shape human behavior. It explores how online interactions and digital footprints influence opinions, decisions, and social dynamics in an increasingly connected world. Genetics. Genetics plays a crucial role in understanding human behavior. The study of genes and their impact on traits and behaviors has revealed biological predispositions, showing how genetics interact with environment to shape individual differences in behavior. Attachment theory. Attachment theory developed by John Bowlby in the mid-20th century, explores the importance of early relationships in shaping behavior. It shows how early bonds, particularly with caregivers, affect emotional and social development, influencing behavior throughout life. Self-determination. Self-determination theory, developed in the late 20th century, emphasizes the role of intrinsic motivation in driving human behavior. It suggests that people are motivated by a need for autonomy, competence, and relatedness influencing behavior in education, work, and personal growth. Maslow's Hierarchy Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs, conceptualized in the mid-20th century, arranges human needs in a pyramid. From basic needs like food and safety to self-actualization, it suggests that higher needs become motivational only after lower needs are satisfied. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT, developed in the 1960s, combines cognitive and behavioral approaches to treat mental disorders. It's based on the idea that maladaptive behaviors and thoughts can be changed, leading to improved mental health and well-being. Dual process theory. Dual process theory, 
gaining recognition in the late 20th century, posits that human thought arises from two different systems, one intuitive and fast, the other analytical and slow. This theory explains how we make decisions, process information, and form judgments. Social identity theory, social identity. Theory developed in the 1970s, explores how group membership affects self-concept and behavior. It shows how individuals categorize themselves and others into groups, leading to biases and group dynamics that influence behavior and social interactions. Mirror neurons. Mirror neurons, discovered in the 1990s, are brain cells that fire both when an individual acts and when they observe the same action performed by others. This discovery has implications for understanding empathy, learning, and social interactions. Bystander effect. The bystander effect, identified in the 1960s, observes that individuals are less likely to offer help in emergencies when others are present. This phenomenon highlights how group dynamics and social context influence individual behavior in critical situations. Decision-making processes. Decision-making processes have been extensively studied since the late 20th century, revealing how humans make choices. Research shows that decision-making is influenced by a mix of rational analysis, emotions, biases, and social pressures. Neuroeconomics. Neuroeconomics, emerging in the early 21st century, combines neuroscience, economics, and psychology to study how people make economic decisions. It explores the brain's role in evaluating choices, risks, and rewards, providing insights into consumer behavior and market dynamics. Cross-cultural psychology. Cross-cultural psychology, gaining importance in the late 20th century, examines how cultural factors influence human behavior. It highlights the diversity of behaviors across cultures and the importance of considering cultural context in understanding human actions and attitudes. Ecological systems theory. Ecological systems. Theory, developed by Yuri Bronfenbrenner in the late 20th century, views human development within a complex system of relationships affected by multiple levels of the surrounding environment. This theory emphasizes the interconnection between individual and environment in shaping behavior. Moral development. Moral development, studied extensively by Lawrence Kohlberg in the mid 20th century, explores how individuals develop moral reasoning. His theory outlines stages of moral development, from basic, concrete understanding of right and wrong to more abstract, principled reasoning. Theory of mind. Theory of mind, a concept gaining prominence in the late 20th century, refers to the ability to attribute mental states beliefs, intents, desires, to oneself and others. It's crucial for understanding social interactions and is a key area in autism research. Flow theory. Flow theory, developed by Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi in the late 20th century, describes a state of complete immersion and enjoyment in an activity. Flow is characterized by a deep focus, loss of self-consciousness, and a sense of mastery, affecting performance and happiness. Resilience theory. Resilience. Theory, emerging in the late 20th century, focuses on why some individuals thrive despite adversity. It examines factors that contribute to resilience, like coping skills and social support, offering insights into overcoming challenges and fostering mental health. Biopsychosocial model. The biopsychosocial model proposes that health and illness are the result of a combination of biological, psychological, and social factors. This holistic approach has transformed understanding and treatment in healthcare emphasizing the interplay of different factors in overall well-being.